Hello, I'm Mark Price. I'd like to talk to you today about Heaven's Surprise. I was shocked, confused, bewildered as I entered Heaven's door, not by the beauty of it all, nor the lights or its decor, but it was all the folks in Heaven who made me sputter and gasp. The thieves, the liars, the sinners, the alcoholics, and the trash. There stood the kid from seventh grade who swiped my lunch money twice. Next to him was my old neighbor who never said anything nice. Herb, who I always thought was rotting away in hell, was sitting pretty on cloud nine, looking incredibly well. I nudged Jesus, what's the deal? I would love to hear your take. How'd all these sinners get up here? God must have made a mistake. <laughs> And why is everyone so quiet, so somber? Give me a clue. Child, he said, they're all in shock. They never thought they'd be seeing you. <laughs> I'm going to give two parts, two small pieces of both the readings, and I encourage you to go back and read them. You see the, the chapter and verses below. The first is from the first reading, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, verses 1 through 18. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave us, when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles also. And then from the Gospel, John chapter 10, verses 11 through 18. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will, and will be one flock with one shepherd. The word, the gospel of the Lord. So what's being said? In the first reading, Peter is being chastised because he associated with Gentiles. And, and he was eating with them, and he was doing things with them that were against traditional Jewish customs. And he was being berated and chastised. And Peter said to them, as it says in the reading I, I just read to you, that he saw the Spirit in them. They accepted the Spirit. And if they accepted the Spirit, and the Spirit came upon them just as it did us, and we accepted Jesus, why should they not be granted the same acceptance, the same Spirit? And that's when the other followers agreed with Peter and said, then Gentiles are allowed to accept Christ as well, accept the Spirit. And then in the Gospel reading, it's talking about Jesus to the group. He says, I'm the shepherd, I'm the good shepherd, I'll lay down my life for you, but I have more than you. I have other flocks, and, and I am their shepherd, and they are my sheep. I am for, with them and for them also. So what is that saying? It's saying that even though within, for example, Judaism, even at the time of Jesus, there were many sects of Judaism. There was the Sadducees, the Pharisees, the Essenes, the Zealots, many sects. And guess what? They all thought they were right. Each one of the sects thought they had the best take on Judaism, the best take on God, the best way to live their life, the best way to do things, the best uh, answers to all of their laws. They all thought they were the one with the answer. And in our world today, Christianity, I'm told there's over 10,000 sects or groups or types of Christians out there. And guess what? Each one of them thinks they're right. <laughs> Each one of them thought, well, we have this idea, we have this idea. Each one was formed because somebody had a new take on a particular verse or a particular chapter or a particular idea of what God meant or what God was saying. All of them think that they're right. 
Well, I got a bulletin. There's only one person, right? And that's Jesus. And Jesus says he has many flocks, not just the one you're in, many flocks. And all of those flocks that are out there, Jesus says to them all, if you embrace me, then I embrace you. You see, that's what it really comes down to. Are we going to embrace Jesus or not? And if we embrace him, no matter what flock, what sect we come from, Jesus is saying, you are mine. I am your shepherd, you are my sheep. I lay down my life for you, which is exactly what he did for all of us on that cross. So who will you be surprised to see in heaven? And who will be surprised to see you? This is Mark Price. Thanks for listening.